Hello there everybody, it's a Joe Nerd coming at you once again. This is going to be another really quick video here. Try to shoot this out as quick as I can. I am here not in the Joe Nerd's toy room for a change, but uh, I am here at the Sheraton Airport Hotel here in Toronto, Ontario uh, for the Canadian G.I. Joe Convention of 2012. So I, I decided, you know, just to shoot out a quick little video just to show you guys if anybody's interested. Uh, all the, the, nice, uh, the nice treasures that I picked up here. So this, of course, is just the little tag for the con. Move that out of the way. So first of all, I, I got a really good deal on these two are the, uh, for those who aren't familiar, these are actually bagged um, samples from the 2012 US G.I. Joe convention. These are of course uh, a couple of the different Iron Grenadiers in the uh, in the 2012 US con set. So first I've got the nice uh, I guess he's more, I haven't read the file card on him. I think he's more meant to be more of an, an elite, more elite branch of the IG. So he's got a nice red jacket on. You know, the more I'm looking at him, the more I like him. So really, really happy about that. And then I got the, I guess it would be the kind of the less desirable. It's the more common in the set, the more standard Iron Grenadier. Um, and it's, uh, I'll admit, it, it's not quite as attractive as the other ones, but uh, it's still not bad considering the deal I got for these two is really, really good. Uh, I won't say the, the really the price, I won't bore you with that, but I'll just say that uh, for me to get this figure along with the red coated one, th this one I basically paid $10 for, so I could not go wrong. So anyway, got those two. And of course, they're file cards, sealed in really nice baggies. I really, really love that. So, now we're getting on to, these are uh, little combat heroes from the Rise of Cobra. You know, I, I wouldn't have gotten these, but they were really, really inexpensive. I got these at, uh, at a discount store here, here in Ontario. Really, really nice. Uh, this is actually my first time seeing this wave. And uh, my buddy, the Madman, was actually nice enough to... He actually wanted these two as well, but there was only one of each. And actually, he was really, really nice and said, Ah, you can take them, buddy. So anyway, got those two. So we're looking at Snake Eyes with an Aqua Viper. And we're looking at uh, a Duke. Oh, well, a Duke. <laughs> and, but the real draw on this one is it has a really cool Para Viper. And actually, I hope you can tell, but the Para Viper is really cool. It looks like he has like a display base attached to his feet that looks like he's free falling into the clouds. So there's a nice cloud display base attached to his foot. So anyway, those. Now... Going on, we've got, uh, this isn't very desirable, I know, you know, this is an uh, old construction G.I. Joe figure from the less popular era of the Joe line in the mid-2000s, uh, the mid I guess, 2005-ish, I guess. Oh, shit, I wasn't even aware that uh, it's actually 2008, it says on it. So, actually, I wasn't even, I didn't even know of this figure, actually, until now. It's actually a, uh, a Python Patrol Copperhead. Uh, I really love the Python Patrol, so I figured, hey, and the price was right. So anyway, there's that. Python Patrol sucks. Python Patrol is very good. Do not listen to that person in the background. That was the madman. So, and now, I really got to hand it to the madman. He, he really is good at, you know, when he enters the con, he's not like me. I tend to make the mistake of walking over to the first table <laughs> and spending like 10 minutes at each table. Like, that is not the way to do it if you want to really get the good deals and all the really most desirable things at a con. So I was really glad he was really looking out for, for me and looking out for things. He already pretty much knew what I was looking for too. So he actually spotted, uh, there was a vendor selling actually three 
of this uh, of this nice red version. Uh, San Diego Comic Con 2012 uh, Jinx figure in her nice uh, red red uh, traditional red outfit. So anyway, um, I'm not good price too. Really good price. Uh, if you. I'll tell you guys, I paid uh, forty dollars Canadian. So for us, I, I don't know about you guys in the U.S., but for us, uh, for me, forty dollars—that that, that is—I I could not ask for better than that. So anyway, in case any of you guys aren't familiar with this figure, I'll give you a little view from the back. Man, you cannot go wrong with this nice vintage style file card in the bottom. Ah, oh, love it. So anyway. That done and out of the way. So now, getting on to something that I really, really wanted, and uh, it's funny that I almost cheaped out on this. I was, I was starting to become a little bit frugal, and I was thinking, uh, you know, uh, sometimes it happens like that, eh? We have, uh, we have a tendency to get a little bit frugal, especially when. You know, I, I, I'll admit, I didn't really I didn't really plan it out very well this year, and I didn't really save enough, quite enough money as much as I would have liked, but I, I can't complain. I did awesome. So anyway, anyway, we're looking at the Dreadnought 7-pack that was released, uh, I believe it was last year. Was it last year? End of last year. The end of last year. So, um, yeah. There's that, and we'll give you a quick look at the back in case any of you aren't familiar. You got the whole back is filled with all of their file cards, all seven file cards. So, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. So now, let's get this out of the way to get you to see something that I'm really, really jazzed about. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So, Get that out of the way. Right. We're looking at, if you pardon the glare, I'm going to get a little tighter on this. So we're looking at Night Fighter Robocop. Uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Now, the real, the real draw on this is because I was really... I was really thinking that it was now or never. That if I, if I could not pick this up to this time on this trip, uh, chances are I would never actually be able to get this because it's a Toys R Us exclusive. For those of you who don't know, uh, in my neck of the woods where, where I live, this is a bit of a trip for me, but back home, uh, our Toys R Us's, uh, for language law reasons, you know, I won't bore you with the details, uh, Toys R Us, uh, is not able to stock their stores with these guys because of the all English packaging. But, uh, we're looking at front and back. Yeah, th this is the same figure, guys, in case any of you aren't familiar. Decided to show you the front and back because I actually got two of these. It's the Night Fighter Robocop. Uh, and it's actually a glow-in-the-dark figure. And it's uh, made as a really nice homage to the old uh, Kenner Robocop toy line back from the late 80s. So you've got even the... Uh, it's very, it's very Kenner-esque. I'll show you as the close-up of the bottom of it. You even have the NECA. The NECA mark has been made uh, to really replicate the old, the old Kenner logo. Really, really nice stuff. And it's got some really, uh, really uh, cheesy in a good way. Uh, dialogue written on it with special night fighting capabilities. Caps not included. <laughs> That's damn awesome stuff. And look at the back. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it's nothing too fancy, the packaging, but I really, really like it for the, for the nostalgic uh, pop it gives. So anyway, and that about does it, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video, this little rawest of raw video. Oh, oh, look at this. Wait a second, guys. The Madman has given us a little preview of something that he picked up this year at the Canadian Joe Con. We're looking at the Canadian G.I. Joe Convention 
I'm getting all tongue-tied here, the uh, 2012 Canadian Joe-Con exclusive set. And, uh, yeah, we're toying with the idea the Madman and I might team up and do a little review of this. So we'll see how she goes. So, all you is out there, take care, and I'll talk to you all in the very, very near future. Peace. Bye, <laughs> Bye for now.